So in this video, we have a requirement called create a new UI action called cancel request on RITM. So basically under the RITM, so this is the RITM and in this RITM, we don't have any kind of um, button called cancel, um, you know, cancel request or something like that. And if you see these, we have a task. So what we are looking for, we are looking for when somebody, you know, uh, we have a button called cancel request or something like that. When somebody click that, the request should be canceled. And there is a running workflow that workflow should be canceled. Right. So this workflow is right now running. We want to cancel this workflow as well as this task. This task state should be automatically canceled. So this is our requirement. Let's assume that. So let's see how we can implement that. So this task, if I uh, add that, the state also should be cancelled. So this is kind of our requirement. So what we are going to do that first, step by step, first we'll create a UI action. Under the UI action, when somebody click that cancel request button, the state we will set that close incomplete. Okay. And then after that, the running workflow, whatever is running, will cancel that and then um, we'll check that that after cancelling the workflow that um, task state is automatically getting cancelled or not. If not, then we'll manually update the state equal to cancel. So this is our requirement. So let's build that. First, we'll go to the UI action module again. Under this UI action, we are going to create a button called cancel request. I'll click new and then here I'll say the cancel request. The table name will be under SC request table because this button should be visible under SC request. So we'll select that SC underscore request. First, what we'll do under the script, we are going to write a script so that we can first cancel the workflow and then we can set the state equal to three or not, like four or not. Okay. To cancel the workflow, this is the workflow which is running. So to cancel the workflow, again, this code can be implemented anywhere in a different, different situation. Like you want to cancel through the business tool or any kind of thing. You can use this code. But in this scenario, uh, we are going to use this uh, workflow cancellation method. So first we are going to cancel the workflow. To canceling the workflow, first we are going to use the var, then wf, maybe for workflow. And then we are going to call the workflow API. So to Call the workflow API. We are going to use the new then workflow. So this is the workflow API. After that, what we will do? We will use the wf dot cancel method. So using this wf underscore dot cancel function or method, we can cancel any particular workflow. Now in bracket, we have to define that which workflow we want to cancel. Let's say that we want to cancel the change workflow. We want to cancel that. Uh, uh, any kind of workflow, which workflow we want to cancel. So we'll pass that current object. So this is current means that the glide object method. So right now, this UI action will be run to the RITM. So and if we pass the parameter equal to current, any workflow attached to this RITM, let's say the four or five workflow, any attached, any kind of workflow attached to this RITM, all this workflow will be canceled simply by workflow.cancel method. Now we can, if we want, we can put some info message like uh, add info the way we do here we can say that workflow cancel something like that we have to select that form link or form button anything i am just selecting the form link at that moment the table will be a CREQ item. I select the SC request. So table will be a CREQ item. So it, it should be under requested item. Let's save that one more time. And here we go. You can see this cancel request button is available right now. And if we cancel that, this running workflow, whatever is workflow is running, should be canceled. And then what we want, we want to set the state, right? We want to set the state equal to four. So let's do that. So that part I have not done there. So we will say that current dot state equal to four, then current dot update. Let's save again. All right, let's refresh that RIT one more time. And if we cancel this button right now, 
this workload should be cancelled. So you can see the state is cancel close incomplete. And if we click the show workload, this workload got cancelled through my uh, UI action. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.